Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing, Guidance, and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. I had to move the mic down. So if you in any way at all identify as a DF Divine Feminine, hun, take. Alright, then this reading is for Jewel. Alright, you all, I am excited to do this reading. I am... Okay, I don't know what it is. It must be something in the energy. But let us go ahead and see what the messages are that Spirit has here for our feminines, y'all, on today. I'm excited to do this reading. Hope you all are doing well. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have clarity and feelings. But you and someone have been thinking long and hard about how you feel for one another. And you're ready to be open about it. You're ready to say, yeah, I love you. Okay. These feelings are really intense. And I was sorting through them. I didn't want to mislead you. I didn't want to mislead myself. All right. But love is definitely in the air between you two. All right. And it's a mutual thing. All right. I feel like the two of you are in sync very much so okay you're noticing or both of you are feeling like it just works something just works okay yin yang it says like the yin yang symbol twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves so yeah it just works i'm hearing you just get me she just gets me okay that's what i heard you just get me Okay, so you're connected at the soul level. You don't have to explain yourself to them. They don't have to explain themselves to you. I mean, in terms of physical things, if you were to ask questions, I'm sure neither of you minds answering any questions. However, what I mean is, it doesn't take any words. There's just this deeper understanding between the two of you. It feels really good. I feel like, <clears throat> yeah, there's that soul energy again. Spirit told me to put that back in the deck because I feel like there's this energy of something or someone continually trying to stand in the way of you two, and it's just not working. The power of your love is too strong. Uh -huh. You're connected at the heart level. Your heart beats in unison. You breathe in unison. There's something like that going on here. Or... Hmm. There's something like that going on. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. If things try to stand in the way. Nothing, nothing stands in the way. Having sensible boundaries is important. Know who or what to invite into your happiness. Yeah, see, there go those challenges because they're going to continue to try. I don't know who you guys have let in, but it really doesn't matter because the power of your love is pushing them out. It's transmuting all negative energies that were in your connection and anything that was outside trying to cause interference is transmuting all of that here and now. Okay, some of you may feel this person's touch. We have commitment, moment, synchronicity, and you guys are in sync. Every moment of every day, your hearts are beating together. Even if one of you were to hold your breath at that same moment, your twin is holding their breath. It's something like that going on. I don't even want to go here, but we have rebel challenges authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. You and your twin go against the grain. You don't do things the normal way. We have femme fatale, but in the light attributes, okay, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected, okay? Okay. 
So it's like, <clears throat> I'm getting someone could have, that's what I'm saying, they could have been someone or someones that were trying to use their body, but that could never compare to a true queen, a true goddess. It says radiates the regal energy of feminine, okay? Uses her benevolent authority to protect others. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference. Using your body versus using your benevolent authority, there's a huge difference, okay? So it's not to say that queen doesn't have that sex appeal. It's just not what she's using as her tool. We have child divine because she's a child of God. <laughs> Innocence, purity, and redemption suggest a special connection with the divine. Absolutely. All right, so... Um, Messiah, okay? Serving humanity with humility. Student, humility and devotion to knowledge. Openness to lifelong learning. I feel like these cards relate to both you and your twin. Those energies. Chow nature. Friendships with animals. Communication with nature spirits. Some of you may have that ability, that gift. Your person does. <clears throat> Night. Okay. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry. A love of honor. I love that. Ooh, I just love everything about that. Yes, indeed. Wow. All right, underline the energy, child orphan. Okay, independence based on learning to go it alone. Conquering fear of surviving. So somebody is going from survival to thriving. And I feel like that's because of releasing certain energies. There were things, again, people that could have tried to stand in the way of the twins and nothing is doing that. Nothing is working. The power of your love is drawing you back together. We have healer and liberator. King. Somebody goes from a knight to a king. Enlightened, benevolent leadership. Benefiting those in your charge. We did see queen earlier. So we got the queen and the king coming together. Amen. Okay. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. Releasing negative thought patterns. Blessed be, okay? Passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Amen. Ability to help transform pain into healing. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. So I feel like this is you and your person. The power of your love is so strong and transformative is transmuting energy within yourself within your connection within other people around you your family especially your soul family as well friends okay anybody you're crossing paths with okay um you're connecting with other children of god other children of nature other orphans okay people who had to do it alone or had to go it alone they could have had family but again blood does not make you family love does okay so let us see <clears throat> wow look at that double emphasis i am in divine flow and move in alignment yin and yang unity balance energy manifestation there is a reason you have those dreams the mystic intuition high priestess visionary Bodiantes. the shaman lunatic <laughs> insights cosmos i laugh because you may be the black sheep People call you crazy because you're intelligent. You're brilliant. You are worthy of beautiful things. The servant queen, divine, magnetic, valuable. I also saw a servant here, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And now we have the servant queen. You give willingly. Delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Go to your aunties. Go to your aunties. Look, this wanted to come out, so go ahead. It jumped out. So that's triple emphasis on that. Let's just be clear. Man, these cards loud as sick. All right. The things that almost broke me were the things that most awoke me. The awakened dead. Resilience, nirvana, self-appreciation. Mm-hmm. I'm really digging this. Digging the see, digging on you, digging on me. Baby, baby, ooh, baby, baby, it's something like that, it's something like that. 
I gotta be in love with something like that, right? That's how I feel. Gotta be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You are worthy of beautiful things. You're just allowing it to be the servant queen. You're digging the scene, digging on them, digging on you. <laughs> okay, baby, bae, ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, boo. All right, so we got two, which is partnerships and um, soulmate energy being balanced. We have 16, which is seven, ascending, leveling up spiritually, awakening, getting closer to God, learning. Okay, we have three, which is expanding, also learning, working on your communication. Okay. <clears throat> Mind, body, and spirit. Did I say expansion? Did I say intelligence? I'm not sure if I'm repeating myself. All right, but we have, you can let go now. Surrender to what is. Ooh. Ah, so sexy. Acceptance, letting go, water, non-resistance. Mm-hmm. Just letting it flow. I'm feeling like you and your person are in that energy. Like I said, just, you know what? Matter of fact, on top of that, we just going to be in love. I'm tired of fighting it, you know? So it says, oh, I don't break that easy. Not anymore. Instead, I use things as fuel. The alchemist. Go to your auntie's house because I saw that card here as well. See? I only say it when it's applicable, doggy bag. All right, so here we go. Transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Go to your auntie's house. Just go. <laughs> Just go ahead. All right. What is this? The mirror. Self-reflection, writer, big picture. Mm, go to your auntie's house. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Coming knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> All righty, so we have King of Pentacles and the Emperor. All right. Somebody is very dependable, very reliable. This is for sure, for sure, Zaddy. Someone who has built themselves up, built their life up, who wants to work on the connection despite obstacles and challenges. Nine of Wands. Sometimes this person feels like you're losing momentum or like they are going up a hill, but they could be, you know, but it says all true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So instead of sitting in the woe is me energy, the oh, you know, it's like, all right, let's just get up and transmute that energy. Remember the things that almost broke you were the things that most awoke you. Amen. <laughs> I really dig that right there. <laughs> all right, let us see. All right, like, yeah. <laughs> See, death card, exactly. Go to your auntie's house. What? Exactly. So right here, it's like a, you transform from the inside out. So have they. Some of you are still in this energy of maybe this person is returning. You're like, hey, babe. You're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about this, you know, I really want to, but last time I was almost broken. And although I was awoken, I'm still not sure. I love you, but I'm not sure. <laughs> right? I don't know. It feels good, but I don't know. I'm going to set these boundaries. I'm going to set these sensible boundaries, right? That's the energy. Um, so this is really nice. All right. What do we have here? Sticking his head out. Prince of Swords. They're coming to you. They're telling their truth. This masculine. Mm, okay. They've been going through some spiritual transformation. They like, look, I'm showing up. What's up? You got your arm in front of you. They don't have no arm block in their chest. They like, no, I know you feel me because like I told you, you guys are connected that heartbeat. Yeah. You're connected via that heartbeat. <clears throat> the Hierophant. You see that? Spirit is like, yeah, this is your person, okay? Because remember the Messiah, serving humanity and with humility, right? Serving humanity with humility. First of all, I feel like both you and your person are very humble energies. You have a lot of things about you that make you really special. However, you never go and boast about them or, you know what I mean? You don't do what you do for, like recognition 
You do what you do for God. You know, you do what you do for God's people. You do what you do because you love it, you know, not for recognition. So I feel like that just comes with it. That's your reward from spirit, though, not from the world, right? So the world can't take it away. Amen. That's how I feel. And I really need you guys to understand this. I understand I'm only speaking in a certain tone because the boys are asleep. You know how it is. If they hear mommy voice, what's going to happen? Let's be real. Let's keep it funky for her. They're going to wake up. They ready to start the day and partay. Okay. Every day is late. Okay. Every day we need. <laughs> okay. So let us see. We be in here having us a good old time. True. All right. But anyway, this person feels really drawn to you. They feel really connected at the heart level, at the soul level. Five of Pentacles. Even if you try to block this person out, you're always connected. Where are you? Don't try to run. No. Where are you? I think that was you, but you're trying to run right now. Nine of Pentacles. Even if you try to block them out to focus on your own happiness, which, by the way, they understand. They're like, listen, again, for some of you, you really feel like this twin flame journey has almost broken you down. you like, listen, 1616, tap out, red, white flag. Like, I'm about to say red flag. What is a red flag represent? We're going to have to look that other than what it represent. Red flag. Your person bang, you bang. Somebody used to bang. <laughs> Cause how old are we? Y'all still banging? Crazy cells. Y'all probably is still banging. Y'all still banging? Go to your auntie's house. All right, so. <laughs> I love y'all. What y'all doing? <laughs> Who's reading this? this? <laughs> I started to say white flag. I said red flag. What does red flag mean, y'all? All right. However, um, could just represent blood, child. Somebody feel like they just tapped out, child. You know what I mean? Like this situation has torn them apart inside out, child, with this death card. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Self-fulfillment. Self-worth. Okay, because yes, it's like you have prosperity around you, but it's because of what stems from within you. It's because of that transformation that you went through. That flower that's behind the um, behind death is the same like flower that's expanded, I guess. It's different flowers, but behind you. That's how I could look at that right now, right? And so this person, is they're taking a look inside. I feel like little by little, you let them in or little by little, you give them access or piece by piece, you guys are coming back together or something along those lines. All right. But again, they're coming to you, bringing their truth, delivering their truth. So when I tell you guys are connected at the heart level, baby, it's been a minute since I felt something so powerful. So, yeah, we have the two of uh, Pentacles, this Prince of Pentacles. Someone's coming to you, taking their time, okay, wanting to let you see in what way or ways this is mutually beneficial. Because some of you have, like I said, been hurt a lot in the past from others or even from this person, as have they. So you're like working through that. Nothing is stopping you guys from coming back together and, and working on this. The moon is here and it was in reverse and it shouldn't have been. So I feel like something is coming out or something is being exposed. Working in sync, working in harmony, working in balance as you walk this tightrope together is what I feel. Because it's not just them doing it. It's not just you doing it. You're working together, serving humanity with humility. Remember? So with this person slowly but surely coming towards you, the reason they're doing that is because they don't know how close across this line they can go. You know, you've only let them in for so long now, you know, so or, or you've, they've only been back on the other side, but for so long. So they're like, I'm not going to do anything to rock the boat. I'm going to take my sweet time to make sure that you're not going to like slam the door in my face again. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Yeah, the, the masculine. OK, it's not because they don't want this. They do. Ten of Cups. They just want to make sure it's real that they're not wasting their time.
the sun card this person is so happy with you you make them feel so good remember this eye some of your masculines they scry they know how they know how to scry and they're scrying on you <clears throat> this person is watching you they know a lot about you that maybe you don't know they know and if they've ever said anything to you or came up with anything and you're like, I didn't tell them this, where did they get this from? They saw it. <laughs> Remember the masculine energy is the sun and feminine energy is the moon. So they're intuitive too. When the masculine is in their emperor energy, when they're in that emperor hierophant sun energy, they are awakened. So something is happening because it's divinely timed to happen right now is set up that way. So with the five of wands, again, it doesn't matter who or what snakes are, you know, hissing about, <laughs> right? Things are still gonna be prosperous. We have the ace of pentacles. This is my engagement ring. So an offer still comes in, okay? Brand new offer. This is exciting news for some of you. Others of you, you may not be interested, and that's okay. Then this is not your reading. Whoever you are, who I'm reading for, you're very much so interested. <laughs> we have the hermit. Both you and your person go into hermit mode to study a lot, to uh, recharge your batteries, to reconnect with spirit, to tend to hobbies or different things that you enjoy doing. All right, they're showing up as the emperor. Yeah, see, and you're showing up as the empress. This person is coming towards you, making a, a love offer, okay? And I feel like with the princess of cups here, you're ready to accept that offer. Six of wands is success. Three of pentacles is cooperation, working together. Yeah, ace of cups, here's that offer. Ace of pentacles, my engagement ring. And what's so funny is on this Ace of Cups, the person actually does have on a wedding band. So Three of Pentacles working together, cooperation. Seven of Pentacles investing into something. They thought long and hard about this. They want to cut off dead attachments. You do as well. Okay. And you guys are going to come together in this way. All right. That's what I'm seeing here in this reading. Okay, the power of love is bringing you two together. All right, let us see what we have. Yeah, they've been working on this connection. Putting in time and energy on themselves. See, the only thing that ever prevented it from moving forward was blocking each other out. With that being over, there is no preventing it from moving forward. It's just going to move forward on its own as it's meant to do. The star card with the Hierophant. Yeah, despite the challenges, again, that part really doesn't matter. It's like those things are always gonna come in and try to keep you guys off balance and disturb plans and just do all sorts of things. It's trying to cause disturbance and interference with the connection. But what Spirit says is the two of you are gonna to come together. And so as long as you believe that and you continue to set those intentions, that's what it is. With the tower in reverse, there is no avoiding it. When we see the tower in reverse, it's like saying someone's trying to avoid the inevitable. And with the queen of pentacles in reverse, it could have been someone else that they're no longer investing into that just does not want to let go. Queen of wands, queen of pentacles person, ten of swords in reverse, they're having a really hard time letting go. All right, so the two of pentacles and the prince of disc. Okay, let us see. The Three of Swords in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups in reverse. They don't want to be heartbroken anymore from not having made this offer that they really want to make or not saying the things that they really want to say. So that's what they're going to do. All right. And I feel like intuitively, you know this. You know this offer is coming. Some of you have manifested this because the Empress has a wand in her hand and the Magician is pointing at the Infinity Symbol. So some of you know that you're connected this way just like they know it yeah the lovers 
Okay, and this is coming out to clarify the emperor. So they definitely know it. Yeah, it's a sun card. See, sun card came out right next to him before. And I said, he's crying on you. He's spying, right? Then we have the lovers in the sun to clarify the emperor. He definitely knows. So whether he knows because he's watching you and the things that he sees you doing and how he sees you are, has him like, yep, that's definitely my person because we're the same or we're complementary, even though we're different, whichever way it goes. Or... You get what I'm saying? They just, they watch you and they know that who you say you are really is who you are. And there's no gimmick. There's no, you know, uh, BS to it. And they're like, yeah, mm -hmm. I know for a fact that's my person. So they're pulling on your energy to manifest you back as well. See, the double in reverse and the magician. Double emphasis on the magician. So double emphasis on the fact that you're both doing the same thing. And then there's people around them that they're realizing they can't trust. They're realizing this now. And it's something here about the things that you told them before or that you you may have tried to hint at, but maybe you didn't say. So there is an apology coming from this person. It's something they've been thinking about for a while. They have something they want to apologize to you about or for or, you know. So we have the sun card. All right, the page of swords and the six of pentacles. Yeah, like I said, as they watching you, they're like, oh, yep, this is this is my counterpart. Because Six of Pentacles is reciprocity, reciprocity, excuse me, and being equally yoked. Okay, so Eight of Cups and the Devil in Reverse freeing themselves from a karmic situation. A lot of you are freeing yourself from karmics or you already have. That's what you're doing right now. The High Priest is you intuitively know this. They intuitively know this. That's why the Nine of Pentacles is here twice. Some of you are becoming single, leaving karmics behind as well, uh, burning some situations. Closing out karmic chapters. We have the hermit getting ghosts on things that don't serve you and building yourself up. Same thing they do. So it's like, again, you two marry each other. Ace of Wands, you're both magicians. And you see how it just sat there like that? Yeah, it flipped out and sat there like that. How about you both are magicians? Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So you build yourself up from the eight to the nine. You transmute energy like it's nothing. Somebody could try to stand in your way. It's like, that doesn't last long, okay? So again, it's something here about, in the past, you may not have had support. They may not have had support because we do have that child orphan energy. But I feel like us healers, we're the ones that have gone through the shit. You understand what I'm saying? We've gone through the works. Otherwise, how could we get up here and tell anybody anything, help anybody with anything? It's impossible. There are people that can talk and they damn sure be talking. And you can tell the difference when you're paying attention. Somebody that's telling you what you want to hear in that moment, which is entertainment, versus somebody that's helping you heal, where there's actually a difference being made in your life. Okay? And they're not doing this for anything. You never paid that person. You never gave them shit. You never seen them in person. You don't know them from a can of paint for real. But they've influenced you or helped you or inspired you or motivated you in some way that was like, damn, I really feel good. I really feel a change in my life. That's doing God's work, you know, not just telling you what you want to hear in that moment. That's that's not what you do, right? So that's what I'm getting there from that, guys. All right, let me pull some, uh, let me pull some from here real quick. And then we're going to wrap it up. Ooh. There is no other person for me. I am not going anywhere. Mm? Well... I admire your confidence. You are beautiful. All right. I mean, yes, look at this empress. Let's truly give her some recognition for two seconds. Okay. Look at her. I mean, okay. Look at this empress. Sis has it going on. So, bro, know what he's talking about. You definitely are beautiful. Okay. It's good. She has purple hair. <laughs> oh, shoot. Purple hair with um, daisies in it. Lord have mercy. I am no longer running from our connection, okay? Some of them could have said this to you, like said that to you, or they will. Like, yeah, I'm not even running. And you're like, huh? What are you talking about? I respect you. I honor you. I cherish you. I love you. Oh. I can see us growing old together. Will you marry me? I want to spend my life with you. Aww. 
that's so sweet and i was going to say that you know how some elders hair be so silver that it grows like it look purple like i've seen that like it has like the purple type tint to it i feel like whoever you are empress when you get as you age your hair is going to be like purple and have a purple tint to it or if you're someone who's already in that stage in life your hair has that purple tint to it. Your person loves that about you. Like I said, her hair is purple. <laughs> and it's wildflowers in it. So it makes me feel like your hair grows really thick, really fast, or really long. All right. No more running from what is. I will simply allow it. Yeah, they're serious. They're not running. They're they dead serious about this. Okay. Pick the time and place. I'm all yours. Well, and it's 111 on a timestamp because I had to, you know, so we wouldn't run out. The love I have for you is different. I care for you in a way I've never cared for others. You matter to me. Oh, let's take our time and get to know one another better. Oh, you stayed present, although you could have left. I appreciate your devotion. You are my world. Oh, you guys. Far from typical, not at all what you're used to. Mm? Well, if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.